just got off the basketball court, so I apologize for my flush appearance. At any rate, I wanted to make a video just kind of let you know where my experiments have been going lately. Um, the other day, I actually recorded myself with this red light bulb in my lamp and this ping pong ball cut in half, taped over my eyes to try... Um, I forgot the name of the scientist, but the brain hack that that involves in uh, regarding sensory deprivation, essentially when you spread a red light over your eyes and then listen to white noise, it'll make you hallucinate. Uh, I did it just to, you know, kind of illustrate to myself and to my audience that uh, you can short circuit uh, certain neural pathways. Well. I had recorded it and um, I deleted the whole video because it didn't work. Um, maybe I'm weird. Um, all the research I've done, all the neuroscientists say that it should work, uh, that that's what it does, but I did two 21 minute sessions and both times uh, all I saw was red and all I heard was white noise. No hallucinations. Possibly I didn't do it for long enough, uh, but I just wanted to let you know I did. I got the stuff and it didn't work. Anyway, um, and then today I decided to do uh, do-it-yourself uh, neurobiofeedback to see if I could enhance my performance in a skill that I have no skill in, um, th free throw shots in basketball. I don't play basketball and I've never been very good at it. So so I started by just doing 40 shots at the free throw line, um, of which I made nine. And then I had found an entrainment uh, track, an isochronic tones entrainment track for uh, specifically for the purpose of uh, athletic performance from mentallion.com. And I listened to that while decelerating my heart rate because research was done on elite uh, athletes, uh, shooters, um, uh, archers, golfers, um, marksmen, and found in every case uh, right before they moved into the zone, um, their brain waves spiked alpha and their heart rate decelerated. So I thought I'd emulate that, see if it worked in you know, my case in basketball because what research has found is by um, emulating that particular pattern in novices, they can actually cut the learning curve, which is awesome. Uh, this is the latest in uh, neurobiofeedback. It's fantastic. And uh, more will be written about that in the update of uh, Get Limitless because I'm rewriting it again. At any rate, um, so I thought that I would try the same tactic kind of through entrainment through an isochronic tone and then controlling my breathing to try and decelerate heart rate. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work either. Um, probably because I'm not in a controlled environment. Uh, I probably wasn't doing it right. I don't really know how effective the isochronic tones are for um, activating muscle memory that doesn't exist yet. So... Yeah, but I didn't want to keep doing experiments that don't work and then not, you know, and just leave that part out. I want to be completely transparent. So the uh, red light hallucination hack did not work, and my attempt at do-it-yourself biofeedback did not work. I did it twice, once while the track was in uh, low alpha, and I got 10. And then I did it again while the track was in high alpha, low beta. And I got 10 again. So apparently I make 25% of all free throw shots. And that's the best that I can do, regardless of what brain frequency I'm giving off. I will say that once again, my experiment, uh, my experience with the isochronic tones is that uh, I noticed that 
when I listen to them, it has a profound effect on the way my body feels. When I got up from listening um, to the alpha uh, band frequency, my whole body felt loose. And while I was out there trying to shoot the ball, it just it was difficult for me because I felt like I was in like this noodly state. And I thought maybe that's the state I should be in, but it clearly didn't work. Uh, so there is something to isochronic tones and brain entrainment, I think, when um, utilizing them in maybe meditation. Uh, so more on that. I'm sure I'll find some more experiments to do, but I just wanted to keep you all up to date. Take care.